Hello friends, welcome back to Miss West Kitchen. I am always so delighted to have you here. I once read somewhere that jollof rice makes the world go round. <laughs> Can you imagine? We are going for that party looking smoky jollof rice and of course with great tasting. So we will start by layering awesome flavors onto the chicken and we are making the stock in the oven as well, okay? I'm adding white pepper now. This will be followed by black pepper. Next will be thyme and freshly chopped rosemary. And this is my homemade herbs and spice blend. You can substitute this with chicken seasoning, add some salt to taste, and I'm also going to add some green seasoning mix, which is linked down below and a drizzle of olive oil to help with the coating. So I'll just go in and rub the chicken on very well. And I don't think this thong is doing the job well, so I'll just put it aside and go in with my hand. So now it's been well coated and I'll cover it for 30 minutes before it goes in the oven. Of late, I've been making my stock in the oven to limit frying up chicken and meat all the time, you know, to reduce the intake of oil. So I'm going to share with you a quick tip on how to make lots of stock in the oven to make your jollof rice with. First tip, make sure there is some sort of moisture with your seasoning. Okay, for instance, I use my green seasoning mix, which has moisture, but if you are using all dry ingredients, just mix it with a little bit of water um, to create that paste. So it will help to produce a lot of vapor and cover your chicken with a foil or parchment paper to help trap all that juicy liquid. And yes, friends, this is my time saving smoky tomato stew that we made few weeks ago. It was cooked to perfection. We even used the overnight trick and we also made it with spices except for salt. Okay. And a little bit goes a long way. So I'm going to skip some aside for now and introduce it back if we need to, because as you know, jollof rice can be funny too much to you and it goes the wrong way okay so i'm going to wake it up with some fresh bay leaves bouillon cube and freshly grated nutmeg the nut is more fragrant than the powdered one so if you have it be sure to go for it i used about only a quarter so i'll just stir everything in nicely and just before we add our rice we will go and check on our big chicken to collect our stock look tada we've got a lot of stock without necessarily boiling the chicken first and always baste the top to keep it moist as well so now we've collected our golden juice we would go back and put it in the stew but before then let's quickly turn these over so the other side can also brown nicely i'm using jasmine rice and it has been washed feel free to use any rice of your choice and i'm going to stir it up nicely to coat the rice with the stew first so that it can you know take on the flavor right from the beginning the stock goes in now even to add more flavors to the rice still so with no water on a low heat i'm going to stir and fry for a bit so that the rice can absorb the flavors from the stock and the stew before we add the water enough water just to loosen up the rice we can always come back and add a little bit more if we need it okay it is safer this way than to start with lots of water and end up with soggy jollof rice <laughs> if you are new here hello welcome this is Omsuwa's kitchen please subscribe with your bell on to receive all notifications so as you can see our jollof rice is looking great okay it cooked on a low heat for about 20 to 25 minutes and i've just stirred everything so the top also gets a chance to cook and now friends i've just recently discovered that it is much better to use parchment paper with rice 
than foil and it is also safer okay so i'll cover it in and you will see how much water it will trap look at all that water that got trapped with the parchment paper so much it would have all gone in the jollof rice you know it's only cooked with the steam and so we've got a perfect texture okay and another tip is to always cook your jollof in stainless steel it helps to burn up the rice a little bit at the bottom you know it helps to produce smoke to give it that rich smoky flavor this jollof rice came out amazing it was so 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 good and i served it with some fried plantains shito and pasta coleslaw it went down a treat okay this is Oswald's kitchen if you're a new subscriber thank you thank you so very much and if you are new i hope you would consider to join us by subscribing i hope to see you in my next video until then take care and stay blessed bye bye